Good morning guys. We are out here in the desert having a coffee and some breakfast after a really awesome day on the trails yesterday and a wonderful night's sleep. This is a great spot you found here, Brad. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, Brad really needs no introduction in this space, but you know what? Why don't you uh, tell our audience who you are? And... Uh, well, first of all, I've been a fan of Epic Family Road Trip for years, uh, and I love hanging out with these guys. Uh, I'm Brad from Trail Recon. I have a YouTube channel as well. Uh, we film our adventures in vehicle builds. I'll put a link to a really fun adventure we had with Brad and Marco back a few years ago in Baja. You gotta check that yeah. one out. But today we're taking a walk around Brad's brand new Gladiator, which is pretty much stock. Pretty much. Um, but he's done some mods, and it, I think it would be interesting to see what you've done on the interior and then some of your plans for the future. And then you've got a, a new uh, Patriot trailer, yes. which would be really neat to take a walk around as, as well. So, yeah, I'll, I'll hand it over to you, and uh, where do you want to start? Uh, I mean, we could just start at the front here, and really there's very little to talk about. Most of the stuff has been done to the interior, but I, I guess, I, can we talk about the vision of this for a minute? Yeah, so. So I'm a Navy corpsman. I was uh, 26 years and I did medical in the Navy. And uh, it's, you know, adventure and medicine are just passions of mine. And I want, I've been trying to figure out a way to bring those together. And so uh, that's kind of what we're going to do with this uh, Gladiator build, which I'm excited to be in a Gladiator again, because it's just a great platform for what we do. But this is, uh, we're going to call it the Trail Aid Station. And so uh, I've already named it Doc, which I think is fitting. And the, the goal here is just to bring awareness to making sure that you have first aid gear with you when you're out here in remote off the grid places, but also that you know how to use that gear, uh, that you get some basic training. You don't need to be you know, a, a doctor, but you get some basic first aid training is super important. And so we just wanna bring that awareness uh, to the folks out here. So that's kind of the goal with this build. Everybody asks, is this gonna be a rescue response vehicle? No, it's gonna be my adventure vehicle, but it's gonna have some really cool medical pieces to it. So. Right now, it is a 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, and uh, it doesn't even have a winch on it. I, it only has like 3,000 miles, uh, but the plan is to, you know, put a bumper or a winch. We're going to lift it. We're going to put some, uh, some tire. We're not going to go crazy big tires, but we're going to do something that'll be practical and kind of cool. Uh, the only thing out here that I've done already is I've installed uh, some uh, KC lights out here on the uh, A-pillars, and then my antenna mount over there for the GMRS radio. Most of the work that has been done so far is on the interior and, and now it's just kind of one of those deals where we're just waiting for parts. The truck bed though has got some really cool stuff in there right now. <laughs> we'll tell you that story <laughs> on uh, this week's video. Check that out. <laughs> so on the interior, oh, uh, so I, I've put on a little, this is a, oh, okay. a, a little a military challenge coin. Some people will know what that is. So it's a IDC, which is independent duty corpsman, which is what I was in the Navy. So that's a, just a little Easter egg. We're gonna try to do a bunch of little Easter eggs like that. Uh, the front is just pretty much uh, just all the comms, navigation. Uh, we've got the Zolio up here so I can text my wife. We did install an uh, S-Pod so we can start to prepare to control all the stuff that we're gonna be putting in this thing. Uh, but uh, it, this is kind of how I've had multiple Jeeps. It's it really just functional and it works. Uh, so it's kind of, I've just done this kind of setup over and over. I don't really change it much. So in the back, we just did this this last week, uh, is pulled the rear seats out and put in the Goose Gear platform. This is the high platform. And what I love about the Goose Gear system, it just gives you so much storage. When you pull those rear seats out, if you don't need rear seats, it's an amazing amount of storage that you gain. Uh, and the plan here is uh, one of these drawer systems underneath is going to build out a big battery system under there. So we will have a lot of power to manage all of the you know, vital signs machines and all the kind of cool stuff that we want to be able to do with this. So uh, we're going to be working with Red Arc and uh, going to build out a really cool battery system in here so this thing will be self-sufficient. We're going to put a roof rack on, but no rooftop tent, but there will be solar up there. And then the plan is to uh, probably have its own Starlink as well so we can communicate uh, when we're in the remote areas. So in the back here is, uh, it's not the beginnings of my camper build. <laughs> I thought maybe he was building a cabin back there or, you know, a wooden rack. Yeah, there, but... there were some, obviously there were some knuckleheads out here that were partying, having a good time, and they had built a wooden bar out here in this beautiful spot. And, you know, whatever, come out here, have a good time, but they left it. Uh, they didn't take it with them. So there's a trash can, a bunch of garbage, and uh, and you used your uh, arbor skills yeah. and uh, got the chainsaw out, cut this up, and now my truck is about 100 pounds heavier than it was when we got here, but we're gonna take this out and go find a trash for it, so. 
Now watch them show up in the parties today and at somebody's wedding and <laughs> their whole their whole setup's gone. Right. <laughs> no, we know it's not that case. That's not the case because they also burnt down half the uh, the vegetation around here. So yeah, there's there's more there's more than just leaving the bar behind. But yeah, if you if you like Brad said, have a good time out there. But when you leave, take everything with you. Yeah, leave it better than you found it, and that's that's what we're doing today. Uh, so behind the gladiator is. It's a Patriot Campers X3 Gen 2 trailer. So I've only used this a few times now. Uh, we've only had this for a couple months, but uh, uh, towing a trailer, there, there's lots of pros and cons to towing a trailer. For me and, and my wife, it has been a, a tremendous asset for us uh, because we're able to take the weight off the vehicle and carry just about all the water, food we need for long adventures. And so this trailer allows us to do that. But this one has been, uh, it's kind of been refined this new generation too so it has uh, it's got hot water but it, now it has a really robust he diesel heater inside and so when it's cold at night turn that diesel heater on and inside that tent you stay super warm uh, it's got a central locking system so uh, i push one button and the whole thing locks so if we are going to base camp somewhere and we need to leave it's it's kind of a peace of mind to know that this thing is going to be secure if we go head out on the trail and just leave this somewhere um, it's got an airbag system, so it's easy to level at camp. And uh, it now opening and closing that tent, it's got these massive actuators and it's basically just the click of a button, uh, pull the poles down and that thing collapses all by itself. So it's, it's really nice. My wife loves the trailer. It's got a, a nice, it's almost a, a queen size bed in there. So it's a very comfortable bed. And you know, we can get in, out of the elements if we need to. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a good trailer. And it's really, really capable out here uh, on the trails. So it's, uh, it's never really kind of limited uh, our abilities to go places. Last night you had the awning system set up? Correct, yeah, it's got a 270 degree awning uh, and uh, yeah, we got a little rain last night, so it was nice to have that. But uh, um, yeah, it's got uh, 300 amp hours of power. Uh, there's a, a detachable solar panel so we can charge while we need to. It's got uh, all, uh, inverter, it's got a, I think it's a 1500 watt inverter it's got plenty of USB uh, plugs inside and outside so you can keep all your stuff charged. You got your sink, you got a, a 75 liter fridge, Dometic fridge out here. This slider is really nice. Um, you got plenty of storage. In the front there is a swing out barbecue uh, there as well, which is pretty cool. So there's lots of LED lighting in here, tons of headroom. I'm six foot two and I can stand up in here no problems. Uh, under these benches there's uh, drawer systems and storage. This actually slides out so you can access this stuff while you're inside the trailer or from the outside. There's a pull out table here. It's, it's just a good place to, uh, to hang out and get a good night's rest uh, when you're out on remote areas. So thanks for the walk around. Um, yesterday on the trail, we were behind you and it yeah. looks like it tows over anything the Jeep goes over. How's, how's towing? Yeah, it's really good. So it's got uh, 33 inch tires on the back. It's got uh, independent suspension. So that's really important for a trailer. You don't want a solid axle on a trailer. It's great for a Jeep, but on a trailer you need it to flex. And it's got a 360 degree hitch, which allows when the Jeep is doing this and the, the terrain, sometimes the trailer will do this. You need that ability to have the trailer kind of be independent from the vehicle. But what I really like about this trailer specifically is it's the exact width of the Gladiator. Oh. So if I know the Gladiator can get something, the trailer's, through, gonna, make the trailer's gonna make it too. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, let's uh, let's see it collapse. Okay. <laughs> the folds are on the outside. Mm. Uh, right, instead of trying so to adjust them inside. inside mm -hmm. To do everything, right? You just come out here and just drop them. That's nice. You love it when nobody's around. I call out. Which one did you have before the X3 as well? That, it was an X3, but it was the first yeah. gen, so. Wow.
Hey guys, we're out here in the desert with my good friend Marco. And uh, man, we've done some fun trails together over the years. But I thought while we're here, it would be fun for Marco to, talk, to walk around his incredible Jeep. Some of you already know who Marco is and you've seen his Jeep, but you can never get enough. So Marco, <laughs> tell us about what you got. Well, this is a 2021 uh, Wrangler 392. It's got the Hemi engine. And I've done a few upgrades to it. Um, I see that. <laughs> the recent, recently I did the, uh, uh, the coilover uh, suspension, the RT4 from uh, Terraflex and Falcon Shocks. That works really, really good. And I just did the Steer Smart uh, steering system, which I'm loving it. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, I got the KC full KC highlights, and I still have my James Beard, even though I have the. Uh, the uh, X, X1 uh, trailer from Patriot, but I- You got room for the whole family to come along. Right? Well, my wife and I, we use the rooftop tent a lot too. Yeah. So that's why I stay there and uh, it's a pretty comfortable tent. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I did uh, the Expo gear um, wings. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, those are nice, those are nice. Uh, and that I'll show you what I did. From the outside. Too much, in this case, my compressor and on the other side, I got other stuff like right. a first aid kit and things like that. And uh, yeah, it's on 38s. It's got uh, enough power to move those tires mm -hmm. with uh, 488 gearing. Oh, you re-geared? Yeah, yeah, I re-geared to 488 and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. You got a winch and, and uh, no, the front. I don't have a oh, winch yet. Um, okay. I just arrived yesterday. Um, it's the new super winch. Oh. Uh, it, it's a 12, um, 12,000 pound super winch. It's really nice, it's got a light. Okay. So I can't wait to install that. That should be installed next week. Nice. And uh, but I got the ARB bumper. Yeah. Um, this is the Bundy Deluxe. And uh, of course with the KC highlights and the communications is uh, Midland. Midland. So I got the HD GMRS and uh, ham radio. Oh okay. Nice. I got both radios. What's under the hood? It's a uh, it's a small it's a small engine. A little four cylinder. <laughs> a little four cylinder. No, it's a six point four. Uh, Hemi, Hemi engine wow. with uh, 470 horsepower. Um, perfect for hauling the trailer. It's just, yeah. it's, it works really, really nice. Yeah. And other than that, it's just everything stock. I just did the battery system yeah. with uh, some fuses. And this is the original battery, the, the, the vehicle's battery, but I have a 120 amp hour um, battery back there with the red arc red vision system oh, nice. so it'll take care of the rest of like camping That's lights and the fridge and accessories oh, okay. yes and then this is just dedicated for starting for the vehicle yeah which is pretty important you don't want to draw down your battery yes overnight and then you can't yes go absolutely you gotta call someone in. i do i don't have a winch but i have the switch for the winch okay. so you're, you're ready to go <laughs> yeah. That's cool. yes yeah it's a powerful engine and it is when we're on the trail marco drops back every once in a while on purpose so you can step on it <laughs> so you can hear that magna flow going yeah. got a wrap that it was done back in 2021 by elevate designs in in uh, flagstaff yeah. arizona they do a great job and inside is pretty much stock um, just got my radios um, the 67 designs um, phone holders and i got the vector bar on the um, you also have the stinger radio I changed the radio, it's not the original radio, so it's the Stinger. And uh, next week is gonna have uh, cameras, off-road cameras nice. for, for that system. So we're still working on that. And back here, I got the, um, the 6040 seat delete system from um, uh, Goose Gear. And I got all my camera equipment. And to protect the doors, I got the thin skins. And on this side, I got the Expo gear. Go Wings, it's a company out of uh, LA, the LA area, and I got the dual fire nice. compressor here, with uh, you know some accessories here. Grab, uh, first aid and things like that. First thing, uh, I just got this. It's a 20 foot uh, hose, air oh, hose, nice. that is connected to the system, so I can, you know, air up anybody, a friend or yeah, the yeah. trailer or or my it's kids, a... my kids' bikes. Oh, I like that. It's yeah. on a retractable. Yes, clothes. yes. Oh, it's a uh, yeah. That's that's really nice. <laughs> like and of it. course, I have the James Brood uh, Falcon. This okay. is a 270, and I love this because it's got the tunnel system. 
so there's an opening here yep. and you can put a um, cover that uh, comes down the uh, rooftop tent oh. so if you have the walls and, and everything set you don't have to go out you just come oh, down hey. that tunnel in, and, and that's you're in the and annex. you're in the annex it's pretty yeah. pretty nice i really like that yeah, that system a, from them a nice feature. and um back here i have the uh the goose gear system with uh the medic uh, 45 and this is the cam chef system from them so you can have this as the way i have it with storage or you can have a stove but i have the stove here so i, I prefer to have uh, storage and i got the red vision um controller here nice. from red arc yeah. and i have a 2000 watt uh, inverter from from red arc too oh, nice. and this is a new acquisition this is the uh bush kit recovery gear uh from max tracks Oh, okay. it's pretty awesome yeah. uh, you check it out it's, yeah, it's really see. really nice do you um, have any solar i guess not with the tech like not that. yet um i'm working with um with uh yost from rhino adventure gear okay uh he's he's got this solar so we're gonna we're gonna do something Try with the solar trying to make it work, on top, to make it work on top of the tent oh, yes i yes. love it great setup so this is just storage as well these setups. yeah this is just storage yeah. I got my camera equipment here and I, I got chargers for my camera oh, nice. batteries here they're yep. already connected for the drone so I can I can charge when I'm driving and I have this kit I don't know if it, if I ever gonna use it but it's there it's what an EMP that? right here you can see it from the other side oh, okay. it's an EMP protection system oh. so the whole electrical of the vehicle is connected to this in case of an EMP no way I don't know if it's gonna work. I, I don't want to find out. Yeah, <laughs> but it's there. That is cool. That's so, something we should. You yeah. should tell us more about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Actually, Philcraft is doing uh, uh, an article on that. Yeah. Yeah, and they're building a vehicle. And well, let's talk about it now because uh, that seems to be the topic of the day. So. Right. Um, would it be even a solar massive? Solar yes. Threat? Yes. So it, it protects the electronics in the back, or even whatever is connected to the system. Okay. So. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure if it, it'll protect the trailer, right. if it's connected to the vehicle, but I will think so because it it's supposed to protect whatever is connected to this system. So everything is connected to it. So, so yeah, I mean, with a Ford or any modern vehicle, there's a lot of electronics that if yeah. they went out, you couldn't start. Yeah. I w would something like this. Um, if you go into their website, I don't work with them, but, no. but I, I, I read about it and I, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's just a neat thing to have. It's got military um, uh, um, technology, yeah. so cool. it should work. I, I, I don't want to find out, no, but yeah. it's there. <laughs> That's the type of thing you never want to have to uh, yes. find out if it works or not. Yeah. So what model is this one? This is the X1 Gen 2. Okay. Um, it just came out this year, and uh, I used to have the X1N. And right. the reason that I like the X1 series is because of the storage. Okay. It's got a lot of stores there. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. And uh, this this one I tested it in Australia in nice. September. Yeah. And How, it, tell us about that trip. Oh, that, that looked that, amazing. I was uh, talking to Brad and talking to my wife. It's like a, it's a trip that you you can order online. You can right. you can go to a catalog and order it. Yeah. I mean, we got there. Beautiful, beautiful place. Queensland is just amazing. Wow. And then we go to the factory, and we take two brand new trailers from the production line with two awesome Toyota trucks, yeah. like like super awesome vehicles. And then we go to Fraser Island. Wow. It's, it's just like a dream trip. That uh, you is know. amazing, yeah. We had a blast. Um, well, well, it's on our bucket list. We've, yes. we've done the Great Ocean Road from uh, Adelaide to Melbourne, mm -hmm. but we want to get up into Queensland. The, the, in that Gold, area. the Gold Coast. That yeah. looked amazing though, that was fun. We had, we had a blast. So you got to try this there. Yeah, first. Brad tried the X3 and I tried the X1 and yeah, we, yeah, blown away. But yeah. with this with these new trailers that they're fully, you know, it's got a lot of automation. Right. Um, you know, the the heater, everything. It's it's awesome. It's just loving it. So you, you, if you know Marco, you know he's a great cook, and he and his wife made a delicious meal last night. But yeah, tell us about the kitchen and the galley. I'm sure you have a lot of fun in there. Yeah, I used to have the X2, the old, the Gen One X2. The kitchen is different, and when they came out with the L-shaped kitchen, for me, this 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 was it. It, it will, Brad has the, the had the X1 and uh, uh, the X1 with and with the red one. Remember that he had the red one yeah. with the L kitchen. I went like, oh, I want an L kitchen like that. 
but yeah this is this is a great design for for the kitchen having it like this this is perfect and um you know you got the hot water and cold water and now they have room for a huge fridge so this is a dual 75 um, domatic and then you have all your your system here it's got a red vision system here too that oh. controls everything all the lights and the the air suspension because it's got an air suspension you can level it with uh, airbags and they did a lot of changes to this um, like this just to be in the bottom and if you were working here you needed to open it and you had to remove everything now they change it that, that I really like that a lot um, this is larger too and you got a bunch of storage here um, then you have the sleeping quarters here and this is pretty neat on the X1 it's got gutters rain gutters oh. so yesterday it was raining the water comes here and it goes down to oh, the, the bottom of the trailer so i guess you could capture it if you're uh you, you could do that yeah. <laughs> yeah if you're really in the dry desert and another new thing is uh molly molly panels okay. that yep. that's not a thing in australia oh. but they uh talking to the people at patriot they designed that for the american market oh, nice. because we like molly that's something great about patriot justin and the yeah. team they yes. uh they listen to people, yes. what they, and then they take that feedback and they're continually improving. Yeah, so. yeah, it's, it's just awesome. Yeah, why don't you show us this, yeah. the, the sleeping yeah. cord. This is pretty cool too. I want to show you this. Now you got the awning. Yeah. And it's in its own container, so oh, okay. it keeps dry and clean. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. And that's uh, 270 or what is that? It's a 270. I was talking about the storage. Wow. It's just, it's just so all the way to the front. This one's designed as a utility trailer. Yep. Sleeping sleeping. Wow, that's, that's a nice so, deep. Uh, you got all this drawer. storage here and uh, yeah, that's and great. everything automated. Nice. You know. And then you have the, uh, the tent. <laughs> this, this is also a new fabric. So then, when you open this thing, you've got all this room inside. Um, it's got a, an oversized queen bed okay. that flips down what like this, falls down, and then you pull this, and you got the the, the, the ladder. Comes the ladder comes inside. comes like this. Oh, okay. But you can oh, see it's yeah, yeah it's, yeah. it's so it's um, it's queen or larger than a queen. It's yeah, it's an oversized queen. Okay. Um, and then you have storage here as they well. You have storage here. You got storage here. And you, then you have this cover, you know, that you close it at night All to right. prevent, uh, you know, bugs from coming in. Yep. But you got more storage here. Nice. And uh, this is really nice. And then you got all this yeah. space. Yeah. You can raining or you got bad weather, you yeah. can set up chairs here. Yeah. Like, uh, or if it's too, you know, if we got more people, right. they also have another attachment, like, oh. like the family room. Oh, nice. So you can pop open those windows, let yep. it breeze through if mm -hmm. you want. In the summer, that'd be great. Yeah, this morning my wife and I we had that open. It was a beautiful yeah, morning. Watch the sun, right? and, the whole sun um, and this one has a heater as well. Or? This one has a heater. It's a diesel heater, same as the X3. Nice. And uh, we used it last night, and yeah. it was really, really that's, nice. That's a great feature. Yeah. Once you uh, get spoiled like that, there's no gold. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so you got some max tracks and screams there. Yes, that's that. A good place for them. They've been used. Yeah. <laughs> We use we, we use those in Baja with uh, my uh, my daughter's uh, uh, Sprinter van oh, that is a two wheel drive. Oh yeah. And we got it stock and yeah. Those yeah. Those come, come in handy. So this is what I call the garage or yeah. or the trunk, and it comes with a swing out swing uh, grill. grill. Yeah. And that's uh, important. That's the diesel tank oh, okay. for the heater. And got then tools. A and small axe and fire extinguisher. Yeah. Well, thanks, Marco. Thank Appreciate you so much, man. Around. And uh, it's always fun seeing what you guys are up to. Guys, I hope you enjoyed both of these walk around. Stay tuned for many more adventures ahead. And uh, we're going to hit the trail now. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see, see you down, down the road. road. Thanks.